It's time to run! Ghosts are players from the past. That they are. I still think it would be wild if, like, at some point a ghost turned around and, like, tried to interact with me or, like, very clearly was somebody that was moving. Do I want to try Ice Whip again? I feel like Ice Whip is a weird mistake, but I'm going to give it a shot. Oh, that's going to be funky. Alright, so our goal for today is to make it purple. I don't know how this is going to go. Let's see. I mean, major props where props is due. This is going to kill me. I I love the idea of it. And most importantly, I'm just going to go for this first. Then we go for the money down here. Okay, major props where props is due. I can go real fast. There we go. I can go real fast, which is good. I also have a crumb right underneath my palm, and it's like the worst feeling ever. Okay, where is it? There we go. Okay. So nice part is, I have a bunch of extra health. Come on. Come on. There we go. Okay, and I'm not sliding forward too much. Is this a... Yeah, it is. There we go. Yeah, so I can, I can scoot around at high speeds with this. I almost see the Ice Whip being kind of secretly... Uh, did I not grab the key while I was over here? <gasps> I didn't grab the key. It's fine. Not like I'm being judged for this on time. Whoa! I'm doing some trick shots today. It's fine. Yeah, purple with no crash, right? Gosh, I hope so. That is a trick. Holy shit, I am doing things today. I'm pretty cool with it. Like, this is fun. It's going to get me killed. But I'm, I'm having a blast doing just stuff like this. Okay, that didn't work. Yeah, the main issue is just the proclivity of this, uh, of the character to just crouch. I understand why there's a crouch in this game. I almost kind of wish that there is, uh, you could just disable the crouch button. Like, just give me the slide. Because that's all I need. I just need to be able to slide. Okay, well, we're doing amazingly well. We are very slow. That's like the one immediate downside to this uh, this run so far is that I'm I'm not going particularly quickly. Uh, you know what, actually? Considering this, we want to get the uh, hover slide. If I can get it. I'll go wings. Okay, and there's hover slide. The reason why I want hover slide is because there's a very real possibility I'm going to slide off some ledges and being able to use hover slide plus wings should be able to save me a fair bit. Uh, let's see, getting morning wake up practice? Me? Same. Oh, you mean when I was playing earlier? Sort of. I'm. Uh, so we're doing a, a series for those of you that are fans of this game. Um, when I'm streaming it. Where did everybody go? Maybe I'm just faster than them now. I have no idea. Um, oh, I forgot to get the, the pots in that earlier room, didn't I? Oh, well, it's fine. I guess I'm just going quick. Uh, 
Let's see, hold up. Totally missed this part. Why is it faster for me to slide up? Slide up that. I don't know. Reasons. Okay. So this guy is a stinker, and I generally don't like him. Should have been paying attention. That's uh, fine. Okay. Now, what, do, what else do we have around here? Anything fancy? Big no. Aha! Small chest, everybody else missed. Not so much here. Uh, but me and my friends are actually doing a competition uh, to get... It's three episodes on YouTube, maximum of six points. Uh, let's see, bonus heart, long whip. Go on, long whip. Okay, there we go. Uh, so three episodes, maximum of six points, but uh, fi only five runs counts. The last run has to be a blue key if you want to get the two extra points for the six, the total of six. So I woke up today and did the first three runs. So I've got to do one, one more green run and uh, a successful blue run. Of course, that doesn't mean that I can just submit any run. It has to be kind of in sequence. Unfortunately, because I'm playing this so dang much, uh, it does kind of put me in this position where I'm, uh, you know, which runs count? And the answer is I'm just only, only selecting the runs that I, uh, I'm, I'm only selecting the runs that I specifically label. Wow, everybody missed these. I could have gone bad. I don't see anything else. But I did get all the treasure. Okay. I don't see anything else in this room. I'm trying to find all the treasure, but I also know that it's not exactly feasible for me to get all of it. Man. Where did everybody go and why is nobody going for the, uh, the loot here? How's this? Yeah. Okay. Ba -ba. So I gotta decide if I if I want to do the last two runs specifically on camera. The problem is streaming in general distracts me, makes it a little tougher uh, for me to play optimum. But then again, I wasn't exactly playing optimum this morning, so I don't really know what I'm talking about. Okay. I'm still not using the ledge slide. Or the ledge float. Okay, that was cool. That was really cool. Maybe I gotta try the uh, the ledge float more often. That actually seems like it has some really interesting potential uses. So have I figured out what triggers the guardians yet? Nope. I generally assume it's just time. But I could be wrong. There we go. So we'll see how it goes. <sighs> yeah, I don't use hover slide enough. The thing is, it's such a like a weird edge edge case condition power up that I I have no idea where it's best used, and I generally I'm generally not that interested in it because it would require me to have like a completely different strategy in mind when I use it. However. I feel like there's probably going to be some kind of crazy speed run that actually u utilizes it. Oh, interesting. That's tragic. So apparently if you crouch, the uh, the boost pads do not do not give you the boost. Wow. Okay. 
credit where credit is due. That's interesting. Well, that sucks. Uh, this is not a fun room to have to redo. There we go. Okay. Neat that you can just slide underneath those. Not the kind of thing that I I do casually. But okay, you can you can do some weird tricks with that. I like that. Let's see if I can get a a big heal. I'll take that one. Lucky landing is not really that useful to me. Bonus heart or quick whip? I'm gonna go bonus heart. I like quick whip, but it's not that amazing. Not if I've got float and a couple other things. Okay, they start coming after you after X rooms. So go for all the loot in the room till the guardian shows up. That makes sense. But yeah, I'm really liking the, the hover slide moves. They're cool. I still just don't know if I'm gonna use them. The other thing is just uh it seems like the the hover slide's best effectiveness comes with when you're rolling the ice whip. Wow. That's not X number of rooms. That's just, uh... That's just immediately. Boy, I'm doing weird tricks that are gonna get me killed. There's a weird lag spike. All right. Oh, well, screw me. On the plus side, I don't see any loot here. But on the negative side, We've got Jackass after me. Ah. I do not like this boss. Or this boss, this guardian. Like, of all the guardians, Devouring Rage, I think, is my overall least favorite, just because... Dude does not give you time to chill. At all. I might... I don't know. I might want to rethink this one. Ugh. We might want to... Well, bail it blue? Nah, continue on to purple. I need the practice. I don't need the keys. Hey, thank you Tempest Wolves for the Prime Sub and welcome on in. How you doing? Yep. There we go. There we go. Just try and skip much of this room. Holy shit. Well, shit. I'm trying to go fast. Oh. Well, this is a new one. That's a new one. I was inside the floor. That's, uh, can somebody clip that? I'm supposed to be sending bugs along to the dev team. So yeah, is the hover on cooldown? It seems ridiculously good. I don't think so. Okay, we'll try that again. Honestly, Devouring Rage makes everything a thousand times worse. Uh, okay, I really, I really like Wooden Whip. Let's go Wooden Whip. It makes the whole last level much easier. Because it's 50 coins for half a heart. So as long as I get to the purple region, I can heal myself. And considering money isn't really that useful after you've gotten like five or six perks. 
But a bug is an unexpected feature. I don't know. I don't think me becoming a uh, a permanent fixture in the dungeon floor was immediately... I keep hoping there's going to be a treasure chest there. And there ain't. And I'm sad every time. Now, am I alone in this dungeon? I didn't see another phantom, but I might just be going fast. Okay. I'll just pop all these open. I think I might be alone. But I'm regretting wearing pants right now, which sounds really weird. I'm not much of a pants guy when I'm working. I, like, I work best in shorts. Which probably sounds super weird. Let's see. I just, I don't know. I'm wearing pants because it's kind of cold today. And it just feels wrong. Okay. Now, the one thing I gotta remember... Okay. Alright, that was weird. The one thing I gotta remember is that water hurts me. Whoa, okay. Just shoot for the moon? Hell yeah. I don't know if there's treasure back there, but I'm not gonna go back for it. Answer optional work from home. I mean, like, shorts are primo for me. It's just the whole... It's just the whole, like, kind of... I don't want to say the long, long legs or just the... It's... They just sit different, man. It's... Not my favorite. Boy. I'm getting a lot better at racing traps. I know somebody was accusing me of racing traps too much. But, like, I'm really learning where I can sneak that little bit of extra speed from. Not that speed actually matters unless you're being actively chased. But I am actively chased not infrequently, so I don't know. This is a good idea. Right, let's buy some blessings. Let's hope we can get double jump. And let's get long whip. Okay. So at this point, I'd say all we need really is float. And then we'll be good. Be nice if you could get a... Uh, boon where you have two whips, one in each hand. Spider-Man. Dude, that would be great, but it would be really busted. Because your whips only recharge when you touch the ground. And so having two whips effectively means, like, you could... You could do shit like this twice in a row. That would let you actually bypass significant sections of rooms where normally you'd, you'd have to keep the floor in mind. Okay. Thank you, Ulthar. I will grab that clip for later. Ah. Uh, because I, I want this game to be good and almost entirely bug-free, if at all possible. Uh, one, for my own benefit, just because. And two... Ow, really? Uh, two, because I'm a nice person. And I want to help the devs out however I can. Okay. There we go. Anything? Yes. There is. There's a lot of treasure in here. Works well enough for me. Doesn't look like Toxic Boomer Man is around. Yeah, there's fall damage? Yep. I don't usually fall very far, so you might not notice it. But there is absolutely fall damage. Let's see. Got spooky. And not having the, any land to latch onto is surprisingly dicey. 
fine though. We're good. I don't know which variant of this room is. It is. Uh, let's see. I think it's blades. I'm not hearing any spikes. I know that. Holy shit! It's this variant. This is, I think, the rarest of the variants on this room, which is the one that has no traps in it whatsoever. It's, like, just totally peaceful. Normally, this place has, like, spike traps ahoy. Well. I... I kind of wish there were certain dungeon designs you could just save. I understand why they have the whole, like, you know... Once somebody clears the temple, it's gone for good. But there are certain, like, temple layouts and room layouts that... Like, I actually wish I could run it again. Just because I love how this one is laid out comparatively. Was that...? It was. I wonder if this is a regular feature there. I have no idea. One way or another, we made, like, a solid 300 coins just from that. And Big Bad Boss Boy didn't feel like showing up there. I think the Poison Guardian is stuck, too. Yeah, because I don't think he can fly through the environment like many of the other ones can. Okay, we're looking for wings over Quick Whip. All right, and then we'll save the rest. And maybe if they added the option to rerun temples for practice, but no treasure rewards, it would be nice. Like, a free play mode where you could just kind of practice and even have checkpoints. You don't get relics, you still get treasure, uh, maybe optional guardians and stuff, uh, no ghosts or anything. Or maybe just your own ghosts. Actually, that would be the cool way to do it. Because, like, if you only saw your own ghost in the free play mode, so it's more about perfecting your time through, like, a variant. Nothing in there. Fair enough. Oh, but it's over here. Uh, let's see. There we go. I don't think there's anything. Oh, right. There's something else in here. The key. You know, that thing that I need to actually leave. There we go. We good. I am... I don't know, I'm really proud of just how much I've I've already mastered the movement in this game. I would say I'm hardly actually a master, and I'm sure there are going to be players that just, like, put me to shame. But on my own, like, personal level, I the amount of improvement that I have done over the course of this, uh, you know, the, the past three days of streaming this, is... I don't know. It's kind of fun. I don't play a whole lot of games where my personal improvement is that much of, like, at the forefront. of my concern. Like, usually I'm just kind of plowing through just for the funsy of it. But with this, I am... I don't know. Wow. I never played arcade games as a kid. I think that's part of it. Like, I, I literally never played any games that involved score. And if I did, the score was irrelevant. Let's see, so most games you don't care if you get good? I think I do care if I get good, but I want to get good to the point where it's fun. I don't actually care about getting good to the point where I'm, like, supremely good. Unless it's really fun to be supremely good. But, uh, what's a good example? Like, Celeste. Celeste is a game where if you're not good enough, the game sucks. But the skill ceiling is so high that to get there would be miserable. 
and only the people that are like really into Celeste or really into speedrunning are going to go that far. Most other people will never bother because why? Also, a lot of games aren't about getting good, but investing time. It's true. Is this the Eye of Agony, by the way? Let's see. I don't see any treasure in here. Oh, there it is. There we go. A mode where you pick what guardian traps and gold invite your friends to have a go at it. It'd be kind of fun. I, I feel like a, a map maker segment on this would actually be really cool. Or just something. Some more some more mechanics that specifically let you bring your friends along in some kind of substantive manner. Okay, that's devouring rage. Yep, that's devouring rage. You are not my favorite gentleman. A level maker. Can you imagine all that Kaizo level of insanity people would come up with? It would be so good, though. I would love to see, like, a, a maker mode for this. You know, take it off the leaderboard and just have, like, each level kind of have its own leaderboard for time instead. Like, I realize this game is more about getting the relics, but I feel like ha having kind of that nod uh, to people that want to go purely for, like, time attack and and score attack. Wow. I've never seen this room before, and I love it. It's just, hey, you want all the money? Here's all the money. But no, I don't know. I'm a big fan of games having multiple different variances to, to cater to multiple player groups. I think I might be really lucky on this. Okay. And Devouring Rage ain't chasing me yet. Shit. I've made a lot of money off of this room. Yeah, nothing left. Alright, we good. There he is. Wondering when he was gonna show up. <laughs> See you, sucker! <laughs> oh, that is perfect! Hamboy shows up right at the end. I love it when that happens. The temple has been giving you every single big loot room and has in one run. Super lucky. I've got like a thousand gold? And I've already got all the perks that I could possibly want. Double jump, long whip, and wings. Like, there's no way my luck is actually going to hold that well. I say as I immediately get clobbered. Let's see. I love Long Whip. Long Whip is life. Okay, this is all nothing. Unfortunately, because we've got Devouring Rage at such a high speed following me, um, my ability to actually do this for... I'm going to say do this for time is kind of limited.
That sucks. Are you kidding me? Are you kidding me? Oh, we're good. Whew! I'm gonna just go for the health. Actually, I shouldn't do that. Go for the bonus hearts. And let's seriously cross our fingers that he does not chase me into the next zone, otherwise I'm gonna be in a lot of trouble. It honestly seems like tons of fun now. I'm getting it as soon as it releases. It's so good! It's it's like one of the best exp uh one of the, the best examples of like gameplay mechanics is pure expression of fun with like an enough Please don't be please don't be devouring rage for this next section. Yeah, you can't use the word sucker in a clip. Uh yeah, unfortunately. I'm pretty sure the the word well, no, I absolutely am sure. Ah oh, <laughs> it's devouring rage again. We're dead. I'll try my best, but we are super dead. So here's the problem with the uh, Devouring Rage at this speed. Homeboy is real fast. That wasn't so bad. And the plus I didn't, don't need to stop for money. So part of the reason why I do want to stop for money, as weird as it sounds, is lava. I guess we can do it here. I heal in lava. That's not actually bad pacing, all things considered. Already? Yeah, I heal in lava, so if I stop for a hot second... I can heal a bit of HP. I also just can't afford to stop for like any reason. Like I'd love to. But yeah, he's right there. Like, there's a couple of treasure room variances that I might be able to swing for. Not this one. Because you can, you can tell, he's right behind me. The music is very clear on this matter. And he gets, he gets faster from here on out. Like, I'm, I'm, I don't know if I'm going to be able to, uh... I don't know if I'm going to be able to keep pace with him on the later levels. I, it's good for speed and some other things. You're first, so maybe you'll spawn later. I don't think so. I, I think I'm in a really bad spot. It's good practice for me, all the same, just to be here, but I, I despise this boss. Oh, right. There's no reason why I need to rush here. Hello? Sprint? Oh, I was in, in crouch mode. I guess I should double check just to see if I can get a little bit more money. Nope. I got some money for that. Okay.
Definitely. I find some more lava to run in. See how this goes. If we get really lucky, we don't run into a whole lot of key chambers. Oh no. Lost too much time. Frankly, no thank you. Not with him being that close. Yeah, hopefully I can find some lava in like one of the first chamber or two in the next zone that I'm going into. So if the Guardian gets too close, is it instant game over? I believe so. Um, he's only ever caught me once and it insta-kills me. Did you despawn him by going into the final room then head back? I don't think so. Please don't immediately spawn. Oh, shit. I'm not going to say it's impossible for me to care, but I'm in a position where I can't afford to care about the damage I take. so bad? Maybe not so bad. Whew. Ice Whip might be good with that Guardian. Probably. And yeah, I can't even move on to the next section to hopefully shake him. We're stuck on this path. Right, let's just hope he doesn't spawn in on that initial chamber. Maybe we need lava in that last room. We need lava soon. Oh, well. I guess this... No! Okay, it didn't freeze. Okay, I don't think he's gonna spawn in here. However, bad news bears, there's no lava. And he's immediately gonna spawn. Wait, I might be able... I might be able to cheese this a bit. See if we can spot one that immediately has lava. Nope, that ain't gonna work. I could hail Mary and hope. Let's see, I don't see any lava. Let's see. Okay, I see some lava in the corners. Going for it. Okay, he didn't spawn on me. That was worth it. He hasn't spawned yet, which gives me some leeway. I would love it if he specifically did not spawn in here. He probably will. Like, it it, it feels like it's going to happen. But it'd be, it'd be big for... 
Okay. It'd be big for me if you didn't. All right, so here's something I haven't done yet. Where the hell are the other doors? I'm pretty sure I can't hop down there for the lava. I'm pretty sure that's that puts me in a bad spot. You. I know there are six doors, but I've only ever found four of them. Does anybody know where the where the two more doors are? Because I, I have to open six doors to get this thing to open. But I've only located four doorways. Didn't you just see five of them? No. One, two, three, four. Like it could be down in this lower trap hell. But if it's here, I'm not spotting it. Maybe it opens on four? That'd be a dream. There was that lower level even there. I think it's just supposed to make your life harder. Here, we can check this section. No. Maybe it does just open on four. Okay. It opened on four for Grand Poo Bear the other day? Okay, that makes my life a lot easier. I think they intend for six, but maybe they only have four set. Well, that sucks. That super sucks. works out. This works out. The only spawn now, which is good. Oh. Wrong section. I want to be over here. He has to cross the whole chamber. And I want to make, make him do as much work as possible. There we go. Luckily, these sections have been weirdly short. That could have gone bad. This sucks. This sucks so bad. Come on. Oh no. this. I'm just not, also not sure how I'm supposed to do that one, to be entirely honest. I 
like as it's just as it opens up. Okay. Hope this one's easy. I've already done this one. Shit. It's this one up here. He's already here. I... This is... This is physically uncomfortable for me. Okay. So far, this is working. I think we got it. I think we got it. Woohoo! Door open. Door opens. Yes! How the hell did I do that? Uh, the. The run where I finally managed to get get through, the run that I finally managed to do it, is the one run where the Guardian is actually active and chasing me. Like, the other Guardians, to my knowledge, do not work in this chamber. Uh, on, like, on this level. Uh, they don't have enough spawn points. Only Devouring Rage is capable of hunting me down. Seriously? Is it just those? Okay, there's the rest. And this was the run where I finally managed to do it. I guess going full hot foot really is the solution to some degree. Anything cool back here? Nah, I had to check, just in case. Ooh, we get Mjolnir for it. Wait, I missed half the chest. There's more? Not that it really matters to me. I'm pretty sure, uh... I mean, no matter what, stuff gets, uh, wiped after this anyway. But there's usually only six chests anyway. Really claimed. Looks like a crafter's tool. Excuse me. This is for bonkin' skulls. Oh, this is the place where you put all the purples. That makes sense. Okay, I did get all of them. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right. Well, we've done it. We've beaten the purple. I can, I can safely say I am. Um, can they, by the way, can somebody clip the me running circles around the stone crusher blocks? I, I don't know if it would actually translate that well into a clip, but I, I really, really want that just sheer stress to be uh, contained. Ah, other people missed half. Got it. But yeah, we beat what is currently available. Hopefully they make it a little easier for um, for subsequent runs. Uh, for later levels in the full release version. And kind of fine-tune purple a little bit. Mainly just, it's the Chaser Guardian that's hell. Because I can't even imagine how absolutely brutal he's going to be past that point. I have no idea how you'd even be able to outrun him at 8 meters a second. Like You would, you would have to have the Ice Whip to even be able to keep pace with him. Oh well, it's fine. <laughs>